Hello, today I will discuss about database triggers most interesting features of PLSQL statement. A database triggers is a statement that the system database system execute automatically as a side effect of modification to the database. The database basically store triggers just as if they were regular data so that they are persistent and are accessible to all database operation. Once we enter the trigger into the database, the database system takes on the responsibility of executing it whenever the specified event occurs and the corresponding condition is satisfied. So basically the particular trigger execute when we activate the triggering <coughs> condition. So basically a trigger trigger is a stored procedure that is fired when an insert update or delete statements is executed delete statement issued or executed against the associated tables so to design trigger mechanism we must meet two requirements specify when a trigger is to be executed and second specify the action to be taken when the trigger execute so what is the need for triggers basically triggers are used for auditing purposes automatic generation of derived columns enforcement enforcement of complex business rules and security constraints like database constraint and creation of replication of information basically the tables for backup purposes the parts of a trigger already <coughs> we told that a trigger is a stored procedure so basically a trigger trigger block contains triggering event or statement trigger constraint or restriction and trigger action triggering event or statement a triggering event or statement is the SQL statement that causes a trigger to be fired a triggering event can be an insert update or delete statement for a specific table next triggering constant or restriction a trigger restriction specifies a boolean or logical expression that must be true for the trigger to fire Triggering actions are not executed if the triggering restriction evaluate to false. A trigger restriction is an optional option available for trigger that are fired for each row. That means when part of the triggering definition and trigger action, the trigger action is the procedure that means the PLSQL block that contains the SQL statement and PLSQL code to be executed when a triggering statement is issued to the trigger restriction evaluates to true. Now the types of trigger row level triggers, statement level triggers and before triggers and after triggers the row level triggers execute once for each row in a transaction and the statement level triggers are triggered only once for each transaction basically row level trigger for example if you want to update or change 100 records for each row the database takes some 
take some <coughs> backup purposes or storing the information or updation of information that type that row level triggers execute and statement level triggers are the default types of the trigger evaluated via create trigger command consider a case uh, where our requirement is to prevent the delete operation during some holidays so that type of triggering definition constraints some specific information and give warning to the system that means that particular operation delete operation or modification operation cannot be done at that specific time or specific day now defining a trigger we have to consider the following syntax for <coughs> definition of the particular triggering block basically triggering block is a plsql block that contains several plsql statements for creation of trigger here first create or replace trigger then trigger name before after and the specific operation delete insert or update for specific column on specific table this is the triggering event next <coughs> defining the triggering restriction and this declare begin and end block contains the triggering action to be done on that particular specific triggering event let's take an example that means create a trigger for emp table which makes the entry e name column in upper case so we defining that particular trigger for <coughs> row trigger basically whatever the case we have entered in the e name field automatically stored in the database here as a upper case next take another example that means here we perform specific operation on a given emp table and that particular operation will be stored in another table called auditor with the specific information and the specific operation here we <coughs> consider about emp number which either if we insert new emp number or updating emp number or delete emp number then automatically stored into the auditor table after execution of that particular triggering statement whenever did insert delete and update operation done the auditor table automatically stored that particular specific information basically the uh, employee number and the operation all the example we have shown that are row level trigger now let's take an example of statement level trigger that means specific operation or cannot be done on specific day here we given raise application that means colon new value new dot cell less than colon old dot cell then raise application error raise application error that means is raise application error is a procedure that allows programmer to issue user defined error messages the raise application error contains error number and the given text would be displayed on that specific condition so basically the raise application error error number and message error numbers starting with negative number 20000 to 2099 while the message contains up to 2048 bytes length all the example contains create or replace trigger the replace statement is here that is whenever we want to change or modify our trigger that means we have to create that particular trigger but if we add this replace statement whenever the modification done on specific triggering specific trigger basically automatically updated by the system you with the use of replace trigger statement if we want to delete or drop the trigger in the database so we use drop d r o p drop trigger 
drop trigger then trigger name that means if we want to delete that stored trigger from the database thank you